Hello everyone! So I want to show you how to make a flower crown or also a sm small wreath, whichever you prefer. It's gonna be forest styled, woodsy, woodline style, woodline style, quick and easy. So here I have a wreath base that I made myself to fit my head. So that's what that's what you're gonna need. Um, I also have some big chunk of moss that I found, which is quite dry. By the way, you're gonna make a mess. You are going to make a mess. So if you wanna start a quick project, you need to count in some time for the cleaning afterwards as well. I have some ivy from my garden, from my yard. And I have some fresh uh, snowdrops here. So, I hope you will be able to see what I'm doing here, like this. Okay, so, so this piece of moss is actually unnecessarily large for this project. But I found it and it was, it was already removed from the rock that I peeled it off, off from. Probably by some animals, so I wanted to use it because it was drying already anyway. Normally, when you're making a, a moss wreath, you, you want a nice long uh, piece that you can wrap around the base, which this is. Unfortunately, this is going to be only a small wreath, so I can make do with smaller pieces. Basically, you need to have a piece large enough to be able to wrap around the base uh, to cover it all up. And this is quite dry already, so it's making a lot of mess. So then you're gonna need a, a flower wire, a floristry wire, and you quite simply loop it around the, the base like this. And you twist it in the back. And you can use a longer piece, you can leave a longer piece behind to make a loop from. All right. And then you just keep adding the moss to cover the whole base. But what I want to do is because I want to add those snowdrops, so I'm going to use smaller pieces of the of the moss. And I'm just gonna weave the the snow snowdrops in like this, and hide the stems under the moss, like so. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna wrap the wrap the wire around. To fixate it all on on the red under the moss, it's really much easier to work with fresh moss, but I wanted to use this old one because it was going to die and go to waste anyway, and I don't like waste. You need to tie it up fairly firmly. All right, I'll just keep going around, putting in more snowdrops while hiding the stems in the moss. Now here, the piece of moss is quite thin, so it wouldn't cover the entire base. So I take another piece and add it in there. It just blends in seam seamlessly. That's the beauty of moss. And keep wrapping it around. Now moss is beautiful, wonderful because it also hides the wire quite well. Okay, so again, I'll take a piece of moss. I'll make little stripes from it. I remove the ugly dry bit, although you can leave it there if you want. And I'll keep adding it 
round and round. You can also moisten the moss either before you start working on with it or when you're finished and that will keep the flowers, whichever flowers you choose to use, uh, fresh for longer and if you don't have snowdrops you can use any kind of flower basically you can even use dry flowers or any kind of foliage I actually made this red base or flower crown base in the autumn for an autumn project. Oh, there's something living here. I don't want that. Ugh. And um, so that's how much I'm behind on my projects. <laughs> so that's the slow li living for you. I guess the secret to slow living is just having not not having many projects. See, and I'm trying to hide the snowdrop stems inside the moss as much as I can. And I just go round and round with the with the wire like this. How you place the flowers is basically up to your own personal preference. You can make them place it around in a regular manner or just make it look more messy and haphazard, which I think will suit this <coughs> woodland style better. And now to finish it, now to complete it, <clears throat> you just, oops, you 
you just hide the last bit of your base <coughs> make sure no no part of the base is sticking out oops this moss is really falling apart like I said it's much easier to wor work with fresh moss that holds nicely together and now I go around for the last time and like I said, now it depends whether you want to have a loop on the back of the wreath for hanging it on the wall. You might not need it also. Or you can just connect it to the piece where you started. Or if you lost your piece where you started, like I just did, you just thread the wire underneath um, one of the loops from before let's see if i can find one just thread it underneath a few times like this and if you're gonna be putting it on your head like a flower crown then you want to hide this piece so you want your head so you what you do is you just bend it over and hide it push it inside or hide it inside the red so it's already quite a nice spring wreath and now I'm gonna add my ivy in there ivy like most bendy flexible wines will probably uh, hold by itself when you just wrap it around the wreath so i'm gonna try that i'll just see whether i can just fixate it see i'll just i just stick it under one of the wire loops in the back here that should hold my ivy in place and then again i just go very simple very easy kids can do it pretty much around the wreath try not to cover or destroy any of the snowdrops like this just thread it through Oops. And this end is a little bit of ugly and has no leaves on it, so I'm just gonna remove it. See, the way I cut it is to have a little spike here, so that I can just, again, pin it pin it in somewhere here so I don't have to use additional wire there you go I'm not sure if to leave this bit hmm. Okay, and then you can use the twigs that you, or vines that you've already put in and just thread your new ones that you keep like that you'll be adding underneath them and that's that way they're gonna hold in place any additional bits so you can chop them off. Right, and I'm just gonna keep adding the ivy until I'm satisfied with the way it looks.
So again, I'll see if I can just drill it in underneath one of these wires. Yep. And wrap it around carefully. Inside and out, and again through and in and out. So I'm just gonna flop it over so it's still visible and then I'm gonna finish it by threading it underneath one of the wines that are already on it. And that's it! That's your little, little wreath, spring bootsy woodland wreath. That can be used as a flower crown as well.